Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little bit, but I am here and I'm bringing to you guys a review on two new items by Wet n Wild, which I'm super, super excited to be reviewing. And that is the foundation, which is the cushion foundation and the Halo, Hello Halo liquid highlighter. So I'm gonna be reviewing these two items today. These released about a week and a half ago, I wanna say. And I saw it on Wet n Wild's Instagram and I was really intrigued, especially to try the foundation because I have yet to ever use a cushion foundation. And Wet n Wild has really been stepping up their game just in general with everything they release. So I was really, really looking forward to this, to trying this out. And you guys will see my thoughts and everything in the video, so stay tuned for that. And then I'm reviewing the liquid highlighter, which is has been very popular in the beauty community. It's no surprise that Wet n Wild got on the bandwagon and released their own. Both of these were hella cheap. This one was $9, the foundation, and then this was 5 or so, and then I paid shipping. But So hopefully they release it in the drugstore soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on all my social medias, which I will leave here or here somewhere. Make sure you add me and follow me. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, so let's just get right into it. We'll just jump right into this video. And so today, obviously, if you guys saw the intro, I'm going to be doing a review slash first impression slash demonstration on some of the new Wet n Wild items that I got. So I'm super excited about this in particular because I have never used a um, cushion foundation even though I know there's several in the market right now, especially in the drugstore like market. Like I said, it's new and I did pick it up on Wet n Wild's website. I don't believe it's available in stores yet. So this is the Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. Um, it says it's a liquid foundation and a cushion compact. Uh, it says it's luminous, lightweight, and buildable, and it has a hydrating formula. So I'm assuming based on that description, it's good for like drier, normal skin tones because it does say like luminous and hydrating. So that's what sticks out to me about that. I did get the shade Honey Beige. I This is too dark for me off that like I can tell it's gonna be too dark but I'm gonna try to make it work with my concealer and powder uh, they only one of the downsides immediately off just getting this product was the shade selection is not big at all they have like six shades and I think this is like the darkest one I'm pretty sure so their sh shade selection is not good at all but hopefully if it's a success they'll expand their shade range so that's what it looks like so it has no mirror which is kind of like a bummer because how i'm supposed to do my foundation and it comes with this which most of oh and sorry if i look like i'm like a floating head i don't know why i decided to wear a black hoodie with a black background but whatever I'm gonna roll my sleeves up so you guys can see I'm not like, okay. And this is Justin Bieber on my hoodie. So just an FYI before I get into it, I did prime my face using the Benefit Professional because since this foundation is more like dewy, I kind of wanted to mattify it because my skin is more like normal to dry. I've never done this before, but I'm going to dip this into this, I guess. So as you can see, it is too dark for me, but it's probably like a shade dark, like too dark, not too much. And we'll just blend down the neck. So it's pretty good coverage, actually. I'm kind of shook. I thought this was going to be more like of a BB cream. Like not much coverage at all, but it's pretty good. And this side, I'll really be able to tell you guys if it's good because I do have a lot of dark spots on this side of my face. A lot more than the other side. 
so yeah off the bat it covered like all my dark spots my post acne marks and some like foundations don't even do that so it's pretty full coverage honestly it actually has like a like a perfumey scent actually and it really looks like it picks up nothing that's why i thought it was going to be such a light coverage but it picks up a lot Okay, so I applied my whole face using the foundation and so I really like the coverage. I'm actually really surprised that it's such a full coverage um, being a cushion foundation. It is very dewy, especially since I did use a matte primer, it's still very, very dewy. So I wouldn't recommend this if you are oily. And then another thing I kind of don't like about it is the smell. Um, I'm very sensitive to certain smells and this one feels like someone like sprayed it doesn't smell bad but it smells like a strong like perfume smell so I'm going to do the rest of my face I'm going to do a concealer powders everything um, I'll tell you guys what I use when I come back but I'm gonna do my whole face and then we'll move on to the highlighter so I'll be right back so welcome back guys I finished my whole face now to go back to the foundation like with everything put together it looks really really nice it gives like a really Full coverage look but it doesn't look heavy at all it looks very like looks like you don't really have that much foundation on but it definitely covered a lot overall this foundation is incredible especially for the price so I would definitely say pick this up my only complaint my major complaint was um, the shade select so now I'm going to move on to the highlighter. So this is the Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. This was $4, I believe. Something like that. It was 5 or $4. And I got the shade Gilded Glow. So I put that there. So that's what that looks like I am going to I totally forgot to add some highlighter to my brow bone so I'm gonna take the wet and wild highlighter in the shade boozy brunch and then just highlight my brow bone with that I'm going to finish my hair and like put lipstick on and stuff and I will be right back to give you guys my final thoughts and I'll be right back so what was I saying I don't remember okay but anyways this foundation was bomb that was my overall favorite thing and again I will link where you can get the foundation and the highlighter down below because it is on wet and wild's website but I'll link the direct place down below yeah, the, the liquid highlighter was good. If you guys are into it, it definitely had a really, really intense glow. But yeah, super great, super affordable. And I just overall really liked it. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Hopefully next week I can film another one. Leave me suggestions as to what you guys want to see down below. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing like a holiday makeup tutorial maybe. Um, I don't know what else. Just give me cool ideas, something different that I can do. And I will try to get to do it. So I will try to get to it. So, so I will catch you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do your posing. <laughs>